Welcome to the online training class for EC CAD pipe. In this session, we're going to cover drawing with a routing preference. We covered setting up a routing preference in the previous video. So to draw with a routing preference, what we're going to do is we're going to either come up to our home ribbon and select pipe from the ribbon, or you can come down to your tools palette and select your pipe from your tools palette. Once pipe is selected, everything that we want to change will be done via the properties palette. So for instance, if I want to set my system that I'm drawing with, here's a selection of systems and these can be updated and added to as well, but I'm going to ch select chill water supply. Now I'm going to select the routing preference that I choose to draw with and I'm going to choose the thread by weld routing preference. That means that's going to be thread up to a certain size and weld above. If you go to change the size here, you can either type the size in or you can go to the pull down. And with the pull down, you can see I've got threaded fittings up to 2 inch and then welded above. So I'm going to go ahead and select 4 inch to start with. I'm going to give it an elevation to start with of 10 foot. So I'm just going to type in 10 foot and I'm holding the pipe here by the center. You have several different options of where to hold the pipe when you're routing it. Uh, you also can set up a slope for the pipe. If you want to run a slope, this can be a negative or a positive. So in this case, I've got fractional rise inches run equal 12. So if I wanted to slope minus a quarter of an inch, I would type in minus 0.25. As we move on down through the properties palette here to see what some of the other selections are in here. If I move down here, we're going to go into some of these options here. You've got joint direction male into female. This really only comes into play in a hub and spigot system. So if you're drawing downhill, you want the male into the female. If you're drawing uphill, you want to be the opposite, female out to male. Here's your branch method. Here we have several options here where we can say we want to do a takeoff only, which would be an OLET, such as a weld OLET, or it could be a shaped nipple. Here we have T only. T or a Y lateral. So if I pull 90 degrees off, I will get a T. If I pull off at an angle, I'll get a Y. Y lateral only, Y lateral or T. I'm going to go ahead and select my T option. If you need to go in and change some fitting settings, this will take you right into the routing preference so you can change that. You also have the ability to come down here and put on insulation if you choose to. So by just typing in an insulation thickness right here, you can put in the insulation. Also, when you move down through here, we have labels. So if I go in here and say, I want to go ahead and I want to do standard pipe with system label, this is going to place the pipe size and the system on the pipe. So to go ahead and draw with this, I'm just going to click down in my drawing here, and now I'm pulling that pipe away from me. And you can see I've got it set here to where I'm seeing my measurement of how far I'm going. So I've gone 53 feet. I'm going to move over here and say I want to go a certain distance. If I only wanted to go 10 foot, I could just type in 10 foot at the dialog box there, and that's going to take me exactly 10 feet. And I'll go ahead and place that pipe here. Now that that pipe has been placed, if I need to come over here and come off of this with the branch fitting or an OLED or a T, I can select the intelligent grip and just pull the fitting away from me. So if I go ahead and click this down now and just put this onto the drawing, I'm going to go ahead and bend it down for an elbow here. That allows to place the T, and you'll notice it's inserted the weld gaps on either side of the T as well. If we wanted to continue on from this elbow, you can just click the elbow, and you can use the grip now to continue this run, and it will morph that elbow into a, a T now. So now I've placed a T. If I want to come over here and see this in my isometric view, I'm just going to zoom over here into what I've drawn and bring that up here. And here we have the drawing here. But now if I want to continue this, I'm going to go ahead and say I want to continue off of this piece of pipe in this drawing. But as I click onto the end of this piece of pipe, I'm going to go ahead and click onto my plus grip. And now I'm going to come back to my properties palette. And I'm going to type in 15 feet. So I just took that from 10 foot up to 15 foot elevation. So if I place that down here now and enter to end my command, if I move over into my isometric view, you can see what I've drawn. If you need to make some moves in this, you can go ahead and click onto your T. You're going to get a set of grips that come up. These square grips are known as move grips. 
So if you grab the, say, the center move grip here and slide that T a certain distance, that's all it does. It modifies the distance that T was from the original point. And that's the basics of drawing with routing preferences. We hope you enjoyed this video. See what's next in our product tips playlist or visit mep.trimble.com for even more product resources.